Hey Capricorn, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. We're going to take a look and see what the cards are predicting for you in terms of love and romance. These messages are going to be general, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after personal tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email just below the video here. Um, so these messages, again, are intended for Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, those cross-watching. And just towards the end of the reading, to crown the reading, I'll be pulling out a few Angel Answers um, cards from the Oracle deck. So we'll see what messages are coming up for you, Capricorn. Okay, you're the world. Page of Cups, the Sun. Two of Pentacles and Death card. Okay, um, wow. I feel like th th you've got some big powerful energies here. You really do. You've got three major arcana cards, three out of five major arcana cards here. Um, I feel like there's a lot of changes in your life, okay? If things feel a little bit uncomfortable or if things feel like they're happening too fast, enjoy the ride because I feel like there's a lot of changes for you here, Capricorn, internally, but it'll also be reflected externally. For a lot of you, I'm seeing new beginnings, okay, especially with the world card and death. And I feel like whatever is happening in your life, like whatever solid decisions you make at, around this time of the reading, I feel like it's really going to greatly impact your future and will really influence your future decisions. So be very careful and selective about the people you choose to you know, spend your time with and build relationships with. Be very careful about your decisions just regarding money, finances, and just love, romance, or just in general, because ultimately what you did today will have such a big influence and impact on tomorrow, okay, on the future tomorrow. So I'm seeing you're, you're at a point in your life where I feel like you're either making, you're, you're ready to make big drastic changes, big decisions, or you're at a point in your life where I feel like things are tilting and things are changing for you, okay? You've got the world card, which for many, I feel like indicate that some of you, I feel like you're finishing up cycles, old cycles, and you're beginning new ones, okay? Um, death card, I know a lot of people can find this card a little bit frightening, a little bit scary, but really... Where there is death, there's always rebirth. Nothing truly ends. It begins again in a new way. So this is an energy that I feel like transforms you. Any endings that are happening for you around this time of the reading are very important because they, they will give birth to new beginnings. So I need you to be really patient and understanding with anything that ends for you around this time. That includes any romantic relationships, any communications, any um, partnerships, marriages, even like business or friendships. Anything that ends for you now is essentially a part of um, the old, like the old cycle. Okay, these connections, these friendships, uh, these relationships are ending because you cannot take this person with you to the next level. Okay, they're not ready to elevate in the way in which you are. So. Anyone that takes an exit from your life, do yourself a favor, don't chase them, don't try to convince them, you know, just how great you are and, you know, how they should stick around because anyone who is truly appreciative and values you, appreciative of you and values you, they won't need convincing, okay, they'll stick around on their own terms. So the universe, I feel like, is trying to, like, make room for your life to invite new energies in, okay? So that's new romantic prospects, new relationships, new partnerships, new business connections, new friendships. So that's what so that, that's why people are going to be leaving your life or that's why some business deals aren't going to go through or something is not going to happen the way in which you want it to happen because essentially, yeah, that could have been good, but there's so much better, like there's so much greater and more wondrous possibilities that are coming in for you. So you have to just remind yourself, be patient, okay? If someone wants to leave or if something ends, understand in your heart of hearts that it's ending because something better and bigger is on its way, okay? And ultimately understand that you're transforming. So don't ever try to shrink yourself to fit into, you know, other people's idea of you or to fit into relationships that you clearly outgrew, okay? You can't take, this person is not going where you're going. So unfortunately, you're going to have to leave them behind. You can't take them where you're going because where you're going, they're not ready for it yet. Um, speaking of the world and the Page of Swords, I feel like, okay, there's going to be some very important, there's an important or special person coming up or online though. I feel like this is either online communication or the two of you will form a connection online. 
Um, it could happen via dating apps. So for those of you that are active on dating apps or social medias, TikToks, any of those platforms, I feel like it's very likely you will connect with someone, okay? I feel like the two of you will be connecting online. I'm seeing there's quite a curiosity, there's quite a romantic interest that the two of you will have in each other. But I'm also seeing that I feel like there is a connecting energy, someone who I feel like is still not able to let go of you or who you're not able to let go of. I feel like the two of you are still spying on each other. Okay, or you're still sort of keeping tabs on each other. And look, maybe you, you, you've done, you know, you, you're done with, you no longer have each other, but maybe there's just that curiosity, you know, what he or she is doing, what they're up to, just, just to sort of keep tabs on them. It's harmless, okay? I don't feel like there's any, um, I, I don't feel like there's anything bad that's going to come from it, but I just feel like you should know that there is someone who is, like, they're, closely watching you they're closely watching you on social media um they're checking up on you they're keeping tabs on you they want to know you know what you've been up to how you've been especially for those of you that have recently broken it off with someone they may not be communicating with you but just because they're not talking with you doesn't mean they're not thinking about you doesn't mean they're not missing you because i can see that someone he still still feels very connected to, with you and it's funny because i feel like this is someone whom you haven't had closure with and that's the other thing that the world card he's going to bring you uh, closure here this week or this month I'm seeing that there is going to be and look this this person here might connect with you okay they might connect with you via online or you might form a new connection and that new connection will help you bring closure regarding an old connection because it make you realize maybe that you are over them okay and maybe you don't care as much as you once did um, the Sun card, I just feel like there's so much abundance uh, coming into your life here. So be ready to receive it, okay? I feel like the universe really wants to bless you with a lot of newness. I did mention I see new cycles for you, new chapters, you know, new energies coming in, new opportunities. So make sure you're ready to receive these opportunities because Capricorn, some opportunities are only going to knock once on your doorstep, okay? And if you miss it, then you miss the boat. So... Be open to these opportunities. Be in alignment with these opportunities. You're in a really great energy. I feel like a lot of you are growing. So once again, if some of you are going through something uncomfortable, like a breakup or a ch like uncomfortable changes, you know, whether they be internal or external here, it's because you're growing, you're elevating. Um, so know that those changes are transforming you, okay? It's all part of the process. You've got the two of pentacles. I feel like for some of you, there's something here that's been going around in circles and it feels like an inconsistent kind of energy. So someone who I feel like keeps coming in and out of your life or there's like this back and forth energy you have got going with someone. OK, that's going to continue to go in this um, infinity loop until you put an end to it. OK, uh, it, it, it was fun while it lasted is the energy I get. And I feel like, you know, it's a frivolous energy, the two of pentacles. And look, you had your fun. It was fun and exciting, but now it's just becoming a little bit repetitive, a little bit dull. So this fluctuating presence, this person who can't make up their mind, this person who can't commit, they want you, you know, but they don't, but then they don't, you know, they come into your life, but then they don't stay. How long are you going to keep doing this? Because essentially, you know, it, like I said, it, it is fighting games, but it's depleting you. It's depleting you of your energy. It's draining you of your energy and it's kind of damaging to your self-esteem. So for those of you that you know, I'm mindful, I'm not mindful rather, just keep in mind that at the end of the day, this is on some level, it is harmful because some of you, I feel like you may be a little bit, because it's a little one-sided, I think, and maybe some of you are a little bit more invested, you know, in this person than they are in you. And the other thing is, uh, like, you have to be careful what you, like, tolerate, be careful what you allow because essentially you're sending a message to this person that, hey, I'm going to tolerate this. I'm going to tolerate this frivolous energy. I'm going to tolerate you coming in and out of my life. I'm going to tolerate, you know, this way and the, this, you know, this, that and the other. So just be careful, okay? Put up boundaries, okay? Make sure they're firm and rigid and make sure no one is overstepping those boundaries because this, I feel like, is going to go on as long as you let it because I feel like this person won't make up their mind. This person will continue to be hot and cold on and on on and off it's like a revolving door okay uh, and I did mention that with death card I feel like a lot of you are ending things you are going to be ending things but notice how you know the sun here rises so although something ends here something else begins and that's why the ending is important because if you don't close that door you can't open up a new one so 
a lot of you, you know, be at peace with the fact that there are relationships that are going to end. There are friendships that are going to end. There are people that are going to stop talking to you or just ghost you or just disappear. Just understand that that person, you know, wasn't meant to play a bigger role in your life and be okay with it. Because there's someone better, I'm telling you. Okay, within the next few weeks is the message you got here. For some of you, you are going to be connecting with someone very soon. And I'm seeing online an online connection and that's going to happen within the next few weeks or there is going to be communication here from someone within the next few weeks again i see digital communication there ask for help from others okay if some of you feel like you need advice okay ask don't be afraid to ask for help you don't have to know all the answers none of us do okay and sometimes hearing um hearing advice from others helps us gain a new perspective so don't be scared to ask help for others especially when you need it the most Yes. Okay. So for a lot of you, I do feel, and it's like a resounding yes with an exclamation mark. Um, if you've had an answer, uh, sorry, if you've had a question in mind, the answer is yes. Okay. And again, I feel like, you know, if you're going through something that's uncomfortable and something that's drastic and you haven't been here before, it's because you are changing. Okay. That's what it is. I feel like there's just so many changes. So say yes, there's going to be so, oppor so many opportunities that come your way. Make sure you don't deny yourself those opportunities. All right, lovelies, and this is your reading. Thank you as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, sharing. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. And for those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to reach out. Bye for now.